Hello, my wonderful artist. Spring is my favorite time of year. I love to see buds on the trees, green shoots of grass reaching for the sun, and beautiful flowers such as tulips and daylilies beginning to bloom. Today we are going to look closely at the art of Georgia O'Keeffe. She was born in 1887. Georgia O'Keeffe was an American artist who painted nature in a way that showed how it made her feel. She is best known for her paintings of flowers, skulls, and desert landscapes. Although Georgia had a passion for art, it wasn't easy for a woman to become an artist in the early 1900s. She was often looked down upon and not taken very seriously. This did not stop Georgia. She was persistent. After high school, she attended the Art Institute of Chicago. If you wish to look closer into Georgia O'Keeffe's life, there is a read aloud book located on YouTube called My Name is Georgia by author Jeanette Winter. You can also watch a brain pop biography video about her life and the links are included in the description below. When creating your own unique O'Keeffe inspired flower, use some of the same ideas that she followed. Find a real flower. And if you don't have a real one, use an artificial one, like we did. Or even a picture of a flower from the internet would work. Look carefully at each flower's parts. Make the flower bigger than real life. Try to have the petals touch the edges of your paper. Take your time to really look closely at the flower, just like Georgie O'Keeffe would. And if you don't want to draw a flower, find another object that you love. Look at it carefully and closely and draw it bigger than life. For materials, my daughter and I started drawing with pencil first. We then added color with chalk pastels and oil pastels. But you can use crayons or paint, whatever you have available. Sometimes oil pastels and even chalk pastels can get very messy, so notice that my daughter has placed a scrap piece of paper on top of her flower to prevent it from getting smudged with the other colors as she's smearing. Now my two sons also followed Georgie O'Keeffe style, but they chose different objects. Gabe chose a vegetable and David chose a cat but they still followed some of her same techniques. They looked carefully at each of the parts. They made the object bigger than real life, and they tried to have it touch the edges of the paper. They took their time to look really closely at the objects, just like Georgie O'Keeffe. And these are objects that they truly love. Both boys traced their pencil lines with oil pastels and then used paint to add color. I hope you had fun creating your own Georgia O'Keeffe inspired object or flower. Don't forget to upload your art to Artsonia. I'd love to see it. And I hope you have another great day of creating.